Paul, I also heard a rumor that you're so angry you're thinking about running for office to turn some of this stuff around. But first, let's talk about the restrictions that you're facing. How difficult is it for you to keep the door open under these kinds of restrictions? Um, well, it's going to be it's going to be very difficult starting um, Friday morning. We're going to close on Thursday to give my incredible staff uh, the day off. But Friday morning, uh, it's going to become uh, we're going to go back to where we were in March. And in March, uh, as a group, we had to tell hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of employees that they don't have a job anymore. And, and this time, this go around, I'm not telling a single one of my employees that they're laid off. I'm just not going to do it. So we're going to have to figure out a way to make this, uh, to make this new, uh, we're, we're eliminating, you know, immediately it should be another hit of 50% of revenues if, <laughs> you know, if it plays out at, at its best case. Friday. But what we're going to try to do is just get the to-go experience the best it can possibly be. And these protests that are going on are in defiance of rules that are being made by people that have no right or authority to make rules. So I, I don't know how much protest there's going to be <laughs> here, but it's going to be, we're, we're going to make this the best it can possibly, we're going to make this the best experience you can have in a to-go and delivery world, and we're going to figure out every way that we can around these rules, and I, frankly, I don't even know their rules. Where are the rules? Are they laws? Are they, is it a more, is it, what, what, what is going on? What are we supposed to follow? How are we supposed to know when the new rules come out? Are we supposed to have Fox 11 on? constantly and watch Governor Newsom every second. So that's, that's what we're doing right now, Larry. Everything's, everything's fluid. But I will tell you one thing. I am not laying off a single employee from this restaurant, no matter what. That's my promise to Governor Newsom and Mayor Garcetti and Barbara Ferrer, whoever appointed her Minister of Health, I'm telling them I'm not laying off a single employee, no matter what they do. Erin, Kristen, Crystal, Angie, Anya, Rod, Leo, Justin, and Anthony will have their jobs on Friday, and they're going to have them after this crackdown, lockdown. My guest is Paul Scrivano, owner of the Blue Dog Beer Tavern in Sherman Oaks here in California. Paul, obviously the coronavirus is very serious. A quarter of a million Americans have died. Projections are as many as three or 400,000 may die within the next uh, few months. Millions or more, of course, have contracted the coronavirus. If the government weren't issuing these kinds of mandates, Paul, what would you be doing on your own? Well, first of all, um, I don't agree with anything you just said. I don't agree with a single figure that I read or see, mm -hmm. not a single figure. Reduce them by 125th, 150th, and then maybe we can start talking about reality. But I don't want to hear about, I don't want to hear about 4,500 cases per day. We're not looking at the denominator in that number mm -hmm. and how many tests are being done. We're not talking about how many people get positive results multiple times because they have to keep testing based on their industry and each new positive test is a case. So I, I don't buy the numbers to begin with. But if you're asking what I would do, I, uh, frankly, Larry, this whole thing could have been solved with a, with a $10 billion nationwide advertising campaign. Protect the vulnerable. Protect the elderly. Protect the upper respiratory. Wear a mask if you want. Socially distance if you want. But to bring the economy to a grinding, crumbling halt, and we all know why, but we're, we don't need to get into that. We're talking about the blue dog right now mm -hmm. and my restaurant and the other restaurant owners I know, the few that are left. What we do is what we do every day. We keep the public safe. That's what we do. We're not in business to get people sick. We keep the public safe. There's a lot of rules around that that we have to jump through as well. I've had the health department in four times. 
since May 28th when we reopened. We know what we're doing. That's that's to answer your question. That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. I would tell people, don't come if you don't want to. <laughs> don't go out if you don't want to. But the world cannot be brought to a grinding halt for suspect numbers on a disease that affects so few people that if we protected those so few people, we wouldn't be in this predicament. My guest is Paul Scrivano, owner of Blue Dog Beer Tavern in Sherman Oaks, California. You know, Paul, everything that you're telling me, to me, uh, should have been argued when, uh, what, 20, 30 years ago, California and the rest of the country mandated that nobody gets to smoke in a restaurant. Why can't somebody put a sign saying, if you want to come in my restaurant, you can smoke? Same as somebody can put a sign saying, if you don't want to wear a mask in my restaurant, you can come in here without a mask, or a sign that says only people can come in with, a, with wearing a mask if that's what restaurant owners want to do. Let individuals make their own decisions. Let the consumer react to those decisions. And it seems to me every argument you're making about the coronavirus uh, and mask and mandates could have and should have been made uh, in arguing that the government should not have mandated that people can't smoke in a restaurant. Well, <clears throat> Larry, th- uh, these are th- this is not my restaurant. <laughs> let's, let's be clear. I, I can't I can't put a men's room sign on the bathroom door. I can't have a bar that is proper unless it has a three foot cut in it. Mm-hmm. I can't. I have to stripe my parking lot a certain way. I have to have a very expensive. I mean, everything for the, for government regulation. It's completely out of control. The health department. They really think that we're in business to get people sick. The market tells the market will say if people get sick, they're not going to come here. Paul, we're not in that business. Paul, we're in business to make friends. We're Paul, in business to make money. Paul, hold on, don't go away. We're taking your calls. Triple eight nine seven one S A G. I want to hear from restaurant owners. How are you dealing with the mandates in your state? Triple eight nine seven one S A G E. Larry Elder, do not leave town. <laughs> 